Live, this is 24 Hour News 8. And he put the knife through against me like this, and I was like, oh, God. So I, I... A woman just out doing what so many of us do, just using an ATM, running her errands. But her routine trip to the Fifth Third Bank on Leonard and Grand Rapids turned violent quickly when a man held a knife to her throat and demanded cash. Tonight, she's telling her story of bravery in the face of terror, and she's telling it only to 24 Hour News 8's Coco McAboy as police search for that attacker. For Jean Hewitt, the past 48 hours have been difficult to say the least. She was robbed at knife point Wednesday night, and she says as each minute passed, all she could think about was if she was going to live through this. Yeah, I had a heck of a time sleeping. I really did because I was afraid I was going to have nightmares. She was leaving her mother's house and needed to stop by the ATM. I'm going to go to the ATM and grab about 20 bucks so I could get gas in my car because I, I was on E. Hewitt had just entered her pen when suddenly a man armed with a large knife walked up and demanded money. The knife went up to my throat and I was like, oh God, no. I thought he was really going to kill me because, you know, having a knife pressed up to your neck, I mean, w w what can you think? But hey, th I'm not going to see my kids again, my family, my parents, my siblings. I mean, th th that's what was racing through my mind. I thought I really was going to die. The suspect stole $60 from her account and took off. And I was hoping to God that he had a f his picture on the um, video of, you know, the ATM. And I was hoping all night long that, you know, that was going to happen. And it did happen. Surveillance video at the ATM captured the entire robbery. That money was more important to him than his face being shown. The suspect's face is still implanted in her mind, and the robbery continues to haunt her. I'm never going to an ATM again at night. Never. For Hewitt, $60 is a lot of money and not easy to come by. But she's grateful that something more precious wasn't taken from her. It's a lot to me because I'm on disability. I only get $721 a month. But you know what? My, my, my life is more valuable than 60 bucks, even though I need it. But still, I'm here. I'm here. And that's all that matters, is I'm here. <laughs> Hewitt tells us the bank is working with her and plans to give her the $60 back. The suspect is described as a Hispanic man in his 20s, about 5 foot 6 and 140 pounds with a Spanish accent. In the newsroom, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24-Hour News 8.